This story took place in a small village. There lived a naughty boy named Steve. He got used to lying and fooling other people. Steve always made up stories and told them to everyone as if they had really happened. Can you believe it? I've just encountered a monster on the street. It's a huge three-headed dragon with giant back legs and even shining scales. Oh my god, really Steve? That is so scary. And what happened? Did it hurt you? It's real. When I came closer, it stared at me like this. But I wasn't scared and did the same thing to it. You're so great. Huh? So brave. Where did you see it? I want to see it too. In the jungle, by the rock near the old tree. <laughs> what a fool. How can they believe it? <laughs> Steve, you fooled us again! Yes, there wasn't any monsters. You made up all of them. Ah, uh, that was because it couldn't do anything to me, so it flew away. You bragger, we, we will never, never play, play with, with you, you again. again. <laughs> Upon arriving home, Steve saw his parents waiting for him, and they were so angry. Here you are, Steve. Do you know how embarrassed we are because of you? How dare you even fool the elders of our village? Sir, I've just seen an injured man. He fainted near the old tree in the jungle. <laughs> so the leader of the village spent the whole day searching for the man, but he couldn't find anyone? He came to see me and complained about it. Hooray! I have fooled the leader of the village! It didn't stop there. He even went to the street and made up stories to the villagers. Do you know why my father is so strong and can work continuously without taking hmm? any rest? Hmm? No, why is that? Because my father has six arms. He hides them very well. So the villagers keep looking at me all day like a strange creature. I couldn't do anything today. <laughs> Great. Everyone believed all my stories. Steve, if you have so much free time like that, then go graze the sheep from tomorrow for me. It will help you stop making up stories. Hmm. Steve looked unhappy, but he had to accept it. The next day, he drove the sheep to a nearby field. Being alone all day long, he felt so lonely and boring. Then, he suddenly saw his village and came up with an idea. If only I can fool the villagers to come here. Ah, I have an idea. Wolf! There's a wolf here! Please help me! Steve's voice spread everywhere. Everyone quitted doing their works and went to his place. Help me, please! But when they arrived, there wasn't a wolf. Steve was lying on the grass with his sheep. <laughs> so funny. Everyone really came here. Hello, guys. Seeing that it was his trick, the villagers were really angry as they had been fooled by a kid. Hey, Steve, do you know that we had to stop working to come here? What a naughty boy. I should have beaten him up. Hey, Steve, you shouldn't tell lies to everyone like that. Oh, yes, mister. I swear to the God of Truth that I won't tell lies again. <laughs> it wasn't hard at all to make a promise. <laughs> they all believed what I said. So interesting. The next day, the same thing happened. Steve got bored while he was doing his work and started screaming. Guys, please help me! Wolf! There's a wolf! Help me, please! He did it again. He fooled us once again. This time, the number of people coming to Steve's place have. Of course, <gasps> they didn't see any wolves except for Steve <laughs> laughing on the grass. <laughs> you guys got fooled again.
Steve, if oh. I were you, I would save those words when I really need help. You liar! I'll never believe you again. <laughs> Great! It's so entertaining to fool all of them. Who... Uh, who are you? Steve. I'm the God of Truth. You remember what you swore to me yesterday, right? Now how dare you to violate it? The God of Truth? I... I don't know that you really exist, so... Too late, Steve. I will give you this necklace of truth. You will never be able to tell the truth again until you truly regret. You can only tell lies from now on. <sighs> Immediately, a shiny necklace appeared on Steve's neck. That was the necklace of truth. Steve was very frightened, but he couldn't remove it. Since then, everything he said was all lies, even when he wanted to tell the truth. Hey, I saw sheep eat meat and a wolf ate grass yesterday. I was lying. I've been lying all the time, but nothing happened. I will not bear in mind what the god said anymore. He wasn't aware that there was a wolf inside the bush that has been stalking him and his sheep for a long time. Ha 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 ha! This boy has lost his villager's trust. It is my chance now to eat his sheep. The wolf jumped before him. He was very scared and his sheep moved behind him. Wolf! Wolf! Oh my god! What I've been lying about has now become the truth! I have to ask the villagers for help! Everyone, help me, please! But his asking for help turned into a lie. There weren't any wolves here! <laughs> he lied again. If there aren't any wolves, then why does he have to yell like that? Yelling won't do anything, sheep boy, because you lied to them so many times that no one will believe you now. I can enjoy all of your sheep without any bother. Ha 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 ha! All my words are now lies. Oh god, how could everything become so much worse? My sheeps are in danger. What a delicious meal. It is because of my lying hobby. Now that I want to tell the truth, but I can't do it anymore. What can I do to save the sheep while I can only tell lies? Ah, I've got an idea. My beloved wolf, I just realized that your voice is amazing. Has anyone ever told you that before? What? My voice? Yes, yes! Your voice is so melodious, loud, and strong. I believe that you must be very good at singing. Oh, you see that too, huh? What an observant young man. My family also said that to me. What an honor for me and my sheep if we could hear you sing. I will become your fan from today. Good. No one can deny an offer like that. But how can a wolf sing? He only can make distorted sounds. Amazing! Louder, please! <laughs> Hearing Steve's praises, the wolf got even more excited. He howled much louder. <gasps> the howl came from the field. Steve is grazing sheep there. Let's come over there, guys. When the villagers came, they witnessed a very strange thing. The wolf passionately howled while Steve was clapping his hands cheerfully. You evil wolf! Get out of here! My god, I was fooled by that boy! I helped him call the villagers, but I didn't know it! You liar! The villagers threw rocks at the wolf. They got scared and ran away. I... I apologize for disturbing you all the time. Thank you for coming here to help me. Those were his very truthful words. It was strange because he could only tell lies. Well done, Steve. Because you were truly regretful and realized the importance of telling the truth, I will remove this necklace. From now on, make yourself a better person. And don't make me have to come here again. The god retake the necklace from Steve and disappear. Steve was very happy because he could tell the truth now. 
Unbelievable! The lying boy is now telling the truth! It was because of the God of Truth and his necklace. You see, lying will bring you bad consequences. No one would ever believe a liar, even when he was trying to tell the truth. I apologize, everyone. I will change myself and stop lying from now on. Very good. We'll forgive you this time. <laughs> Since then, Steve had tried to change himself. With the villagers' help, he gradually gave up lying and was trusted again. The elder and his parents were pleased at his positive change. As you guys can see, liars will become better people if we give them a chance. Kindness and forgiveness will help those who make mistakes become better.